photo of me getting a photo. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you ain't done yet. Keep <laughs> rolling. Dill's just getting us started. Yeah. yeah, these are the easy ones. Man, impressive ride out there in the MXGP class. Dylan Wright, man, talk about the uh, qualifying heat race here today. Yeah, I mean, it went pretty good. I got off to a pretty good start. Um, wish I didn't get shuffled back a little bit in the second corner. Uh, Patrell came in pretty hot. Um, kind of pushed me out of the way a little bit, but um, <laughs> I mean, I guess I learned from that and we'll know that for tomorrow. Um, but other than that, it was pretty good. I was riding up front near like maybe third. Um, for quite a bit until I had a scary moment, got super sideways through the rollers, um, just landed and got cross-rutted, um, and then I went, I went off the track and whatever, um, <laughs> went back a little bit, which I wasn't super happy with, but, um, you know, I passed my way back into six, so, uh, it was a pretty good race. I beat some, uh, beat some guys that, uh, that are fast over here and factory guys, so it's all, that's always good, you know, it's good for the confidence going into tomorrow, into the real motos, and, uh, yeah, just got to focus on the start and execute that and then um, see where we're at. I mean, I just minimize a few mistakes from today and um, learned a little bit how to set the bike up for tomorrow and um, looking forward to it and it should be fun and uh, excited to bang some bars with some boys. Nice. Now, when you look back, I mean, the numbers aren't their normal numbers, but when you see that you're with, uh, you know, Caroli and uh, Koldenhoff and stuff like that, yeah. uh, 
Did you know who they were? Were you looking back and thinking that, or what were you doing there? Yeah, well, I obviously know who they are. Uh, no, I mean legends, when you... but um, yeah, I mean, Kyrelli actually got me on the first or second lap when we were kind of shuffling through a little bit, and I actually passed them back, so I was like pretty stoked, <laughs> and I gapped them a little bit until I almost died, um, and then he got me back. But um, so I mean, it's fun to kind of see my speeds actually pretty close to those guys. Um, so I mean, that's always good for the confidence as well. Um, just you know, small stuff to work on, minimize mistakes, and I think uh, I think I could be right there. Um, um, in the motos tomorrow and uh, excited for it and it uh, should be good. All right, last thing, um, the track, I mean, going into it, people were saying uh, a cross between saint de Deschambeau. Now that you've raced on it and you've seen what it's like, uh, how is the track? Yeah, it's a little, actually a little harder packed than I thought. The top is pretty sandy, so I thought it was going to be a little deeper, but um, it's a little harder packed, so it um, be interesting to see, if, you know, at the end of tomorrow how hard it actually is because it gets, like, super ledged out and less rolled. Um, so um, it's not exactly the same as close <laughs> as we thought, but uh, you know what? It's it's fun. It's uh, it's challenging. So it's uh, there's not a lot of lines. You kind of gotta float around and slide around a little bit, steer at the rear end a bit more than normal. So um, it's fun. I think the track kind of suits our guys a little bit and should be good. Um, excited for it. Oh, All right, Jay came in. Uh, wow, talk about that uh, qualifying heat. Uh, tell us it from your perspective. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty solid day. Uh, it started off like P14 in, in the free practice, and then going into going into the uh, qualifier qualifier Canada had a pretty good gate pick in eighth. So um, got to a really good start. I think I was like fifth or something around there, and uh, kind of was like battling in six around six. I think like m the majority of the moto, and then. I don't know, the last five laps I was kind of struggling with um, some arm pump and just, you know, riding a little bit tight, but overall it was a really good day, good moto, and I'm stoked on it. Nice. Now, I was going to ask you that because I was watching and I was on the far side of the track and you were in seventh because finally Guadagnini got around you. Did you know you had like that, who was behind you? No, no idea. I still... Even if you saw his name, would you have known? No, I, st I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you killed it keeping him behind you. But... Yeah, it was a good moto. Um, I don't know, I think I just see a change, uh, change a little bit of my nutrition. Uh, I feel like I kind of like my body was drained of energy that second half. So, fix a couple things and it'll be better for tomorrow. Okay, exactly. That once he got around you, that put you in seventh, and then all of a sudden you came around in tenth. So I'm assuming you had a bad lap there or something. Is that when your arms went or what happened? Yeah, that's kind of when I started. You know, body was kind of drained. Uh, I think three guys got past me in like one lap. Uh, I got all squirrely, and then <laughs> and then uh, I had to take like a breather there. And then a couple uh, guy got past me and kind of flustered me, and another guy, and then another guy. So. But. Nice. Well, it's still, I'll tell you what, man, there's some uh, European uh, Twitter sites and websites are talking about all the Canadian rides, man. So uh, yeah. you're saying some MXGP teams are going to be looking at the Canadians. <laughs> what do you oh, think yeah. of that? Yeah, Canada's killing it this year. Uh, <laughs> I knew we would. So In the A main, so I'm uh, pretty stoked on it. All right, qualified eighth. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right, Tyler, how did qualifying go there for MX3 class? Oh, it was good. I mean, it was hectic. The start was nuts. There was bikes flying everywhere. Um, yeah, I yeah, I rode pretty steady. I climbed up into about 15th at one point and then uh, made a mistake. I uh, went off the track, but I wrenched my shoulder a bit uh, in the first turn when somebody went down in front of me and I crashed in between when I got home from six days and injured it, but I mean, it's... That's not going to be an excuse. I just, uh, yeah, it's it's painful, but the kids uh, under the tent freaking killed it. So I'm stoked uh, that the team's doing good. We got our best ever qualifying, and we just got to keep it going and hopefully uh, get uh, get that record tomorrow. Right now, you had a, a pretty good gap behind you, and then a good group ahead of you that you seem to be closing in on. There, yeah. were you aware of that? Kind of thinking you could grab those guys ahead of you. Yeah, I started loosening up towards the end and felt good. And uh, you know, I, I think I'll be good for the uh, for the longer motos and. Uh, once uh, some of the guys maybe might tire out. Um, I know that pace that I can run there towards the end of the mo motos, I can 
I can run that until the, ta the gas runs out in the tank. So, um, yeah, I mean, just just get be consistent, get good starts, and kind of uh, you know do my role with the speedsters. Uh, try to you know kill it. <laughs> nice. Hey, the, the uh, forecast says rain might show up around four tomorrow. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm always okay with that. <laughs> Can't complain about some rain, but yeah, it's the same thing for everything, everybody. But you know, playing in the woods all the time, it's uh, you know it's good for balance. So I'm ready for mud. All right, thanks, man. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. What's that past Jupiter? You know, Welcome to the 2021 Motocross of Nations here in Mantova MX in Mantova, Italy. We've got Oscar here with me here. He's a longtime supporter of Team Canada. He's Canadian riders. Brings a lot of us over to uh, race the German Supercross series. Yes. Uh, hey, welcome to Italy. I mean, you're up here from Germany. Thank you very much. So I've always appreciated to help the Canadian team to organize everything, <coughs> Motocross of Nations, or bring some Canadian to Supercross in Germany. Uh, it's always fun to work with these guys. They're always great. So, yeah, I appreciate it. All right, so we're heading in. We got uh, Canada qualified. Their best ever eighth place yesterday looked fantastic. Had a lot yeah. of people talking actually in the pits. What are you thinking about today? They're calling for some rain. Uh, it's when it's rain. Sometimes said uh, the rain comes at one o'clock when the first motor starts, but I think it's coming later. Uh, when it's not too hard to rain too much, then it's not a matter. You know, it's like sandy, so... Yeah, this place can take a lot of rain. Can take a lot of rain. I hope we have no rain. I'm really excited about what's going on with the Canada team. So they're doing a, a great qualification. They're doing great motors. Uh, Piccolo, I'm surprised about him. He had a stock motor uh, and racing the whole race on sixth place. Uh, last two round, two laps, uh, three laps in Mango Lake. It's next, but awesome. I think it's, it's great and yeah, hopefully they can go top eight. All right, let's see about that. So we, the guys are warming up. You can see Jake there. The guys are working on the bikes now. The B main, you can hear them. They're out actually on their practice. So we'll get out on the track for practice and a full afternoon of racing. So uh, thanks very much and uh, let's go Team Canada. Yeah, thank you. Team Canada. Sure, the track is okay right now. It's just steady rain. But I talked with my Italian friends. They said more rain coming at five when we are finished, and it's good. <laughs> okay, that'll be good. Let's. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about our guys. I mean, they were out there. Uh, it didn't mean anything. It's just practice for the racing today. Yeah. But uh, man, our guys look good. Uh, let's talk about MXGP. We'll talk about Dylan Wright. What do you think about Dylan? Yeah, he's he's focused. He's so focused to to win here. Like a Canadian said, I will win the motocross today. In my, in my class, a, a really good position fighting with Carioli, Harlings, and all these top GP guys. So I'm excited about his result in the first moto. All right, yeah, like we say, he looked all business out there, putting in fast lap times. And then uh, our MX2, Jake Piccolo. Boy, he just looks like he's having fun while he's going fast. Absolutely. It's nice to watch Piccolo on his 250 stock bike, I think. And uh, he has so much fun out there. It's, it's nice to see, to watch him. 
Right, and I think uh, I hear the rain hitting a bit harder. Yeah, and I think I saw some lightning. But yeah, but lightning. But the, the tracks, uh, it's it's a little bit rain is not makes not a matter. You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds good. We're gonna hold you to that. And then uh, our MX3 rider, that's Tyler Medali. He's going a little bit of an issue. He had a bit of a clutch mm -hmm. issue there in that one. They got that all fixed yeah. up now. Uh, a bit of a sore shoulder. But, uh, yeah. But he said he taped the shoulder, and he said it helps a little bit more to feel comfortable. So we will see. All right, well, nothing to do now, but uh, get the bikes ready, get the riders yeah. ready, uh, and drop the gates for some racing. As you probably just heard, that was thunder, so I don't know what's going to happen, but hopefully it's okay. Yeah, I hope so. All right, here we okay. go. Okay. Next to see racing. You later. Quick wrap up here of uh, Moto 1, it was MXGP versus MX2. The rain came down hard. The boys, uh, man, had a great, actually a great rise actually. I know yeah. Jake Pickle had to come in for uh, goggles. I know 11.24. Uh, yes. Oscar, what, uh, what did you it's, see out there? I think it was amazing. The, uh, weather change, change uh, from yesterday, sunny, 26 degrees to now pouring raining it's not a mother but it's like slappy sand that's um, yeah the first thing is have a good start and then keep the goggle clean so that's that's really important make no big mistake and then behind Dylan he was uh, riding on uh, eighth place in his class at 11 overall so he ride great uh, he do not stupid things it, it was awesome and Piccolo had had uh, overall 29 in his class 11. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah it was good. Um, again, it was tough. Uh, I mean, the first turn, there was a big pile up. A lot of the yeah. heavy hitters went down, had to come from the back. So it was uh, good racing. I got to, like you mentioned, it was kind of sandy. It's, it's wet, but I'm out there and it's just a mess. So we're kind of hurrying through this because uh, MX2, MX3 is coming up soon. So uh, we got to get over there quickly. But uh, that's a quick wrap up of what happened in the first moto. So here we go for uh, second. Yeah. Yeah, we see what's going on. So right now, Team Canada is 10th overall. See what's happened.
right, that's two down, one to go. Uh, Oscar, man, that was another tough, tough battle out there. It was actually kind of funny to see our two guys together having battles. Yes. I know Tyler came in a bunch of times for the goggles. Yeah. Jake, uh, talk about what, uh, what you see out there. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, still raining. It was boring raining and it was sloppy condition. It was tough to keep the goggles clean. So Tyler picked up some goggles in the um, goggle line. Uh, also Piccolo um, changed goggles. So that needs time. But both do a great job. And I heard uh, Tyler talk to me. He, he hit another guy in front of him. He crashed and he hit him. So yeah, it was a tough, a tough one for both guys. But Piccolo is overall in his class 11. I think that's perfect for rookie. Right, right, yeah, 11th overall for Piccolo, and in, uh, in the MX3 class, Tyler was 15th, so uh, we're sitting in 12th, heading into the final round. We're really close to the couple uh, teams ahead of us, so it's going to be good. We got this guy going to go out and show everybody how it's done. He just, uh, he just rubbed his head, Buddha. If, if, if you do a good job, so maybe we get a plan top eight. I got 50 bucks. So. No pressure, no pressure. All right, hey, it's actually about to start. Yeah, yeah. I don't see any drips in the puddle, so it's slowed down for the time being, but uh, the damage is done. It's pretty messy out there. We'll have to see what happens. We'll see what's going on. So everything can happen. Well, hey, that is going to do it for another uh, Motocross of Nations, man, 2021 version. Zeb Dennis jumping in here. Oscar had to go. His ride was here. And in this weather, nobody's waiting around for much. Sheesh, the rain. The rain came down, and it came down hard. And now, it's way worse now, which is kind of good. I, th I mean, I think so. It could be worse. The track was one line slot car to begin with, but uh, the rain didn't help, so there we are. So the name of the game, and I was down there shooting video of stuff during it, uh, was the goggles, man. People were coming in for goggles. Yes. Dylan even came yes. in and had to get yes. gloves in that yes. last one. Yes. We did. So there was hot lap goggles, then three changes of goggles for the races, and we're still on the mic. Who can go to the trailer and get more goggles? Who can go to the trailer and get more goggles? It was, uh, it was, it was a nightmare. Right? Tyler didn't come in. He went a couple extra laps there with no goggles. I don't know. I mean, I think we all know that Tyler's never going to pull in to get goggles. <laughs> he he's looked. Just, he's just one of those guys. It's never, never going to happen. But Corey went over there with the goggles. And he's like, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, so the guys, let's have a look at how we did. We ended up 14th overall. I mean, yep. Again, the, the numbers on the paper don't tell the story. Just fine. But I mean, the guys, the guys were incredible. And I think it was uh, Jacob with an 11th overall in his class. Yep. I believe both guys were Piccolo and uh, Dylan. Were Piccolo right. and Dylan with the 11th line. I mean, Jacob. And you know what? And Dylan's first time being here. It's uh. It's not what we wanted, but I think we're happy with it. I think, I think we're all happy with oh, it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And he turned heads. Everybody here is talking about him. I mean, it's, it's crazy. The they, got, they got Piccolo Fever. The Alpo. We were sitting here last night, Billy and I, before Donk was finishing up on the bike, and all the fans kept going, 110, 110, yeah, Piccolo. Piccolo. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Alpo shoulder turn. So. <laughs> So yeah, so Dylan ended up 11th, 11.30, obviously his last second moto. I mean, like it was chaos out there. Not one one. Listen to the thunder and everything now, but uh, mud is a great equalizer. So, I mean, anybody can do well, but anybody can also do poorly. If you have a bad luck, right? 100%. So it goes either way. And the boys were on it. It just, the starts were there, but then there was like a couple of like, little mishaps and stuff like that. So, I mean, again, with the results, it is what it is, just like you were saying, really. Yeah, for sure. So 11-11, uh, Tyler 16th with 29-25. Five motos. He had uh, a couple tough starts there. I know he, uh, we both he and Dylan that last one they came around, and Dylan was up there not bad, but it got tight in the first yeah. turn, and then all of a sudden he was way at the back too. And Tyler, I just I just found this out actually. Uh, Tyler rode every lap but three with, without a front brake. So any any moto fan knows what a front brake does, and uh, that's not fun. That's not good. All right. Well, hey, that's gonna do it from uh, Manitoba. Man, this place is beautiful. The track is really nice. It holds a lot of water. It does hold a lot of water. <laughs> Even being dug into the ground like it is, it holds a lot of water. And it's not very good on cameras, I'll tell you that much. I had some problems with that, that too. I believe that too. But that's going to do it. Zed, thank you very much for jumping hey, in Bill, here. Thank you for coming. It's I appreciate it. been a great you. time. We're going to have a little bit of a celebration now. Peace out. Thank you.
All right, wrapping things up here with Dylan Wright, buddy out there in the MXGP class. Uh, tough, tough day, man. Talk about how it went here. Yeah, uh, it wasn't ideal. I mean, we qualified really good yesterday. Speed was good on the track yesterday. Um, I was really looking forward to today, but then the rain kind of started coming down a little bit and uh, didn't really help our situation much. I actually got off to two pretty good starts, but um, in the first moto, I was maybe running in about six. Um, probably where I should be, realistically. And then uh, I just got like splattered with mud and then I missed a rut, tucked the front end, got back up and charged back to uh, back up to 11th, uh, which was which was okay. I feel like um, less them on the table, but it kind of is what it is. Um, these guys are good in the mud, and um, you know I had fun. And second moto, actually got off a really good start. I started beside Hurlings, and uh, actually got the jump on him, and we kind of went up the start straight. The video is going to be amazing, yeah. dude. You guys were so close in there. Yeah, he kind of he just edged me out going into the corner, so I had to check up and cut down underneath him. But when I cut down, I hit up like a pile of mud, and then I got super squirrely. Um, and I think I would have I was maybe like sixth or seventh, and then coming down into funneling down into one of the corners, I just kind of got the short end of the stick with like six of us who went in side by side, and um, guy from the outside kind of hit a got squirrely and came into me, and I went down, and then dead last, and kind of in the mud, not ideal. Picked myself up, charged back to about 20th or so. Was actually feeling pretty good on the bike. I was making good passes and. Um, riding fairly well for the conditions and how hard it is to pass out there today. Um, yeah, so I think it was okay and then just kind of shit hit the fan. I, I cross to coming down into the one corner where it was super bumpy and I uh, went down right into the soup and uh, that was kind of it for my moto at that point. It just ruined it. Um, you came in too for a uh, gloves, goggles, yeah, you know, I came in for a little bit of everything. A little bit of moral support. <laughs> but, um, no, I think all in all it was good. I think I showed uh, my speed's really good and uh, we are where we need to be. Just, you know, a little bit of shitty luck and kind of getting used to these Euros, the way they race. They are uh, they don't take the first half a lap um, off the throttle. They kind of just go where they want. And if you're there, you're there. They run into you. Um, so it's just it's going to take some getting used to. But, um, you know, not one to back down from a battle when, I, when there is one. Um, just hopefully... Next year, the conditions are a little bit better, and we can uh, get the results that I know I can get here, and kind of, you know, put myself on the map. Hey, uh, speaking of those zeros, are you allowed to say anything? What do you mean? I don't know. There were some conversations going on here. Oh yeah. I don't know. A few of them pissed me off, but I mean, what no, you no. Get? I mean, uh, with the possibilities. Oh, all oh, the possibilities. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I had a couple people talk to me about maybe doing the rest of the GPS, um, but I mean, that's stuff that has to be ironed out. Um, last minute for next weekend but uh we'll see um i mean i always love to race so um maybe call a few of these guys this week while i'm on vacation here and kind of see maybe if i can race over here for a few weekends and uh I think it'd be good for me just to see kind of where I stack up at a normal race in the GPs and, you know, kind of maybe open some eyes over here on this side of the pond and um, you never know where it'll take you. So I uh, just kind of got to have fun with it and see where it kind of goes. I think some people were pretty surprised by my speed this weekend and kind of the way uh, the way I was riding. So I'm um, stoked about that and just kind of got to move forward and take the positive and not the negative, even though there's a lot of negative today, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're here, we're having fun. So. All right, Dylan. Well, hey, congratulations. I know the results weren't what you wanted. I mean, you, you did, like you said, you turned a lot of heads. People were talking. I mean, I was in the pits. I was walking around people, and people were definitely paying attention. You're the number 109 out there for sure. But uh, anyway, live to fight another day, buddy. And who would you like to thank? Yeah, obviously, I'd like to thank uh, Carl, Zeb, uh, Tyler, Jake um, for kind of putting this all together. My mechanic for the weekend, Braden. My mechanic, Justin, back home for kind of making this all work. Derek. Um, Blind in, helping, and you know, kind of let me do this on his bike and his, you know, his equipment and stuff. So it's obviously that's a positive because I did ruin some shit today, that's for sure, in the mud. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously Honda Canada, GDR, Fox Racing for the six setup. Um, we look good out there this weekend, and uh, everybody back home for cheering me on. Uh, I know <laughs> it wasn't the results that I wanted to get for the country, but um, my speed was good, and we'll have to do it again. All right, we got Jake Piccolo at the end of a uh, tough, tough day here. Jake, buddy, your first ever motocross of nations. Tell us how it went, man. How was it? Well, it, it started, it was a gnarly, gnarly day. Um, uh, practice felt good.
good today. I felt a lot better today than I did yesterday. Uh, first moto was was a mutter. It started hissing, ran um, two two absolute mutters. Uh, probably two of the gnarliest motos I've ever had to ride. Uh, I went 24 in the first one. Uh, that was the 250 versus MXGP, MX2 versus MXGP. And then second moto was uh, MX2 versus Open, and I got 23rd. I got 11th in the MX2, so yeah, I felt felt pretty good considering the how bad the track was, how gnarly it was. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm stoked on it. Yeah, and you had, I mean, goggles. I mean, vision was an issue, huh? How did it go for you? Yeah, so I, I tried roll-offs, uh, trying to start off with roll-offs, and first moto pulled off on the third lap. Um, had to get had to get some laminates. Um, Donk had the goggles already, and then second moto, I, I uh, was debating to run roll-offs or laminates again. Decided to go with the roll-offs. Didn't work again. Pulled off third lap. Donk had the laminates ready. Got back on the track. I think both motos I came uh, definitely past, like, I don't know, 34. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I made it to 24, 20, 23, so pretty stoked on it. Cool, man. Well, I know uh, throwing the oppos and having the, the style you had out there, you turned a lot of heads. A lot of guys were talking about you out there and stuff. Everybody that came by here last night and everything was talking about uh, 110 Piccolo. It was kind of cool, buddy. Give us your overall thoughts on this event itself. Yeah, this is a crazy, crazy event. Uh, the amount of, like, uh, if you come here, it's just insane. Uh, it's super professional. Um, it's just crazy. Uh, <laughs> It's definitely a lot bigger leagues than what I'm used to, but yeah, it's, it's pretty sick. Cool, man. Well, hey, congratulations getting that first one under your belt. You look great out there. Obviously, the numbers aren't what you wanted, but uh, that's what happens in these crazy mutters. Who would you like to thank? A uh, huge thank you to Fox Up Canada, Sky Racing, uh, Best Properties, uh, Rhino Power. Um, I'd like to thank Carl Pacito. <laughs> Alright, we got Tyler Medalli here, 29-25 overall for 16th in the uh, MX3 class. Tyler, let's talk about a tough day here in Italy. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, the first moto, uh, I had a good, a really good jump, good start. Came, uh, came around the outside, someone went down and I plowed into him going wide open. I injured my shoulder and um, it was barely hanging on by a thread and that kind of just put it over the top. It was, it sucked. <laughs> It sucked, it hurt like the whole time. I just, um, yeah, did what I could. Just poured rain all day, couldn't see. Coming into a goggle lane and yeah, um, the second moto, I, I gave Dylan the good gate pick obviously and when we're going down the start straight, you're going wide open, you get splashed. You basically put tape across your eyes and that's what you're doing. You're going wide open with 40 other guys that are just going all over the place. So I ran into somebody on like the second second or third corner and broke off my front brake. And yeah, so to get uh, 25th with no front brake was okay. But yeah, I mean, it was just a bummer. I, I came in with such high expectations. I tried my hardest, but it just, uh, yeah, it just wasn't there. It just was one of those things that happens. I know, I kept running over because Corey kept running over with fresh goggles for you. He'd be waving you and you'd look over and then just keep going. Yeah, well, they were trying to say that there's a rule that you have to cut, you can't do more than two laps with no goggles. And I was like, I watched the first moto, this guy from Germany did the entire race with no goggles. So I'm like, ah, whatever. So, yeah, I did, I tried, I went through 21 tear offs and then, you know, by the time I pulled them, there was probably. I don't know four or five laps to go, so I was like, whatever. I didn't care at that point. Nobody was around me, and yeah, I just kind of rode it in. All right, how many does this make for you? That eight? Yeah, that's my eighth one. Yeah. Have any of them not been muddy? What? Have there been any dry ones? Yeah, there's been a lot of dry ones. There's been some really <laughs> good ones, but you know, actually, now that you say that, the last the last three that I did have all been muddy. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's all good. I mean, I had I had a blast. I, you know, the team really worked good. Like. Everybody tried really hard, and the mechanics did their job perfect. You know, Corey was his first time. There was a couple of fire drills, but he did great. Um, the, the setup we had was perfect. Um, yeah, it was, it was good. Good food. Like it's hard to complain, really, other 
in the rain. All right, man. Well, congratulations. I mean, uh, another one under your belt in extremely tough conditions, like I have Joe, too. And I wrecked the camera, I think. But uh, <laughs> yeah. all right, who would you like to thank, Tyler? Well, I'd just like to thank the whole team. I mean, obviously, uh, Cobb Equipped Mountain Sports for, you know, sending my bike over. Carl Bastido for, you know, making this happen. Getting Canada here on his own dime is pretty, pretty wild. Um, yeah, just like everybody from home. I mean, it's just uh, it takes a lot of support. Callus Moto, you know, I had my own custom gear, so it was cool. Um, yeah, and just uh, everybody that uh, put it together, the whole Team Canada, thank you very much. Appreciate it.